Hi and welcome to 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be looking at an overview of the histology of the kidney. Um, so we're not going to be zooming in or anything, we're just going to be looking at the major features of the kidney at this magnification, just sort of uh, uh, putting into context the anatomy of the kidney with the histology of the kidney. Um, so I'll be pointing out the major features uh, in our three minutes. So let's start our timer. So you can see at this low magnification that the kidney is, well, kidney shaped. Um, on the outside is a dense irregular connective tissue capsule, which is the kidney renal capsule. And then the kidney is divided into two regions. It's an outer cortex, which is this tissue out here, and then an inner medullary region. And you can see the medulla ends in this sort of peak. And this is referred to as the renal pyramid because in the end, it kind of looks like a triangle. Um, and so the apex of the, the triangle here, this is a region uh, referred to as the renal papilla. I'll just put RP here so you know it's the renal papilla. And the repeat, renal papilla is sort of where the urine drips out uh, and is, is first collected. So the blood is filtered within the cortex and then it drains through whatever get, doesn't get reabsorbed remains behind and goes on to form our urine. It travels through the collecting ducts and eventually empties into this region here. Now collecting um, that urine is a little cup-like structure which is referred to as a minor calyx. It looks like a little cup it's the first region of the uh, urinary system that's lined by urinary epithelium or urothelium. So this is referred to as the minor calyx. Okay, so that's the minor calyx draining a lobe of the kidney. So what is a lobe of the kidney? So a renal lobe consists of a renal pyramid and its overlying cap of cortical tissue. So here's our renal lobe. Now you have to bear with me, I'm writing using the mouse renal lobe right so the, oh gosh so there's our renal lobe uh, uh, renal pyramid and its overlying cap of uh, cortical tissue now in the rat and the mouse I only have one renal lobe so you can actually see it sort of extends down around the outside there in humans we have around about 8 to 14 lobes in our kidneys um, so if we were actually sort of draw it a bit more accurately this is what the renal lobe would look like in the rat here what you might also notice is that we have this little bit of excess tissue that's sort of extending down into the region where we find the medullary um, papilla, this renal projection of the pyramid here. Um, and these are referred to as renal columns and they contain cortical tissue. So they're where we find all the uh, proximal distal convoluted tubules, uh, the medullary rays and um, of course the uh, renal corpuscles. So this is cortical tissue and so all the nephrons within here actually drain all the way back around and then come back and drain into this uh, one renal uh, pyramid here, renal, renal uh, papilla. Anyway, that's the overview of the histology of the kidney. Uh, we'll have a look at the finer detail in another video. So I hope you found that overview useful. Thanks.